And the first time I saw Building 7 come down straight and fast, I realized this is very curious. I hadn't seen it until just about, oh, it's been about a year and a half now ago. And as soon as I saw it, in a sense, I was hooked. I, I figured, you know, as a scientist, I can't just ignore this data. I could see that building come straight down. <clears throat> I'd seen demolitions before, controlled demolitions. They look just like that, you know, kink in the middle. And then that building just comes straight down, almost at free fall speed. Yeah. And uh, pretty quick, I'm learning about uh, molten metal pools under both towers after they collapsed and Building 7. Now, Building 7 wasn't even hit by a, a jet, you know, and yet it comes down, and then it's got this molten metal underneath. And where, where'd that come from? I have a sample of this molten metal. Previously, molten metal here. Just a tiny sample. This is really all we need. I brought along with me at the last minute. I thought, well, I'll throw that in. And uh, by analyzing this, we determined it is not molten aluminum from the plane, okay. Uh, indeed, it contains a great deal of iron, uh, which is the product of the thermite reaction. Now, thermite can be purchased on eBay, and many people, I show it in my class, uh, ph physics, and I'll be showing it this fall in my physical science class. It's commonly shown. It's a very brilliant reaction. You get this white flare, this white dust, which is aluminum oxide coming off, and then this yellow hot molten metal, just white yellow hot, you know, flowing out of this uh, reaction. Now, this um, thermite is so hot, this molten iron, especially when you mix sulfur in, now it's called thermate, and it'll just cut through steel, through structural steel, for example, like a knife through butter. And we also see this molten, yellow hot molten metal with white wispy ash pouring out of the South Tower just minutes before its collapse. And I've shown this video, and uh, it's just amazing. The photographs of that, it's in the NIST report, and, and the, the evidence is just piling up. This is, uh, it has the characteristics, not of molten aluminum and not of molten, you know, it's not just structural steel that somehow melted, no. It's very little chromium. But it does have sulfur and manganese and some other elements that are characteristic, you see. It's like a fingerprint that the criminal left behind. Uh, this uh, carries with it evidence. What, how was this done? What was used? This chain of events leads me to reluctantly conclude that indeed there does seem to be um, insider uh, in, in other words, not just the hijacked planes, but also others involved setting this, these thermite cutter charges in the World Trade Center to bring them down. This, again, leads to the conclusion that our Constitution, which is our heritage as Americans, I love my country, I, I love the Constitution and the, and, and the people in America. I, I'm afraid that our Constitution is literally hanging by a thread at this stage.